I know you've been teetering on the edge of your inflatable futon. You just can't wait for the bots to take over your internet radio station. Hey there, I am Jeff, the radio DJ dude, with an exciting update. Yes, I know y'all went nuts when I released that video showing that AI-powered voice tracking is possible for Radio DJ. Well, I have some exciting news. That deep dive with the curtain pulling back and me showing you the entire workflow, that video is coming up. I'm still working hard behind the scenes to make that happen, but I have some exciting updates. I know part of my name, Radio DJ Dude, is all about Radio DJ, and that's you know how I first discovered this cool hack, but the great news is expanded radio playout software, you know, compatibility. I, you know, tinkered under the hood and have been able to wire this workflow up to SAM Broadcaster, Station Playlist, and quite possibly M Airlist if you use a separate SQL database, which apparently there is functionality for that. So that's where we are at this point. Maybe more will be able to get plugged in to this cool AI workflow. And that's why I released that poll over in the community tab to find out what software that you are using. So that's the news on that front. More of you will benefit from this cool innovation. Next up could be good or bad news. You know, from my past AI automations, I use that really cool no code platform called make.com, which just kind of makes the whole process easier. Well, for true you know, flexibility, functionality, and interactivity, I have moved to another no-code platform. It's called N8N, and here's a snapshot of what I'm building. By no means is this production ready, but at least it gives you an overview of where we're going here. And why I switched, because I hate when people do that. I mean, you know, for the longest time, we've really been getting in there and getting our hands dirty over at Make. And this isn't to say I'm gonna be abandoning Make because I really dig it and I think for you, it is more user-friendly. But for our needs of upholding certain broadcast standards, I think we really need the extra tool set provided in N8N. And what am I talking about? Well, for one, it's interjecting this human in the loop idea. And you may have heard of a lot about this recently. So in our old automations, they just run and you wouldn't have a say so, they'd never tap you on the shoulder and say, hey, I need you to approve this before we head on to the next step. No, it would just you know, follow a sequential order of tasks and then spit out the final product, whether that's a script to send to 11 Labs to generate a voiceover, or it's that final voiceover that 11 Labs spits out. Well, you just were kind of at the mercy of those bots and either they're having a good day or a not so good day and then you have to settle with the end product. And if we're truly trying to come up with this semi-automated AI voice tracking solution for your radio station, I mean, there needs to be some quality control baked in. After all, this is your station, it's your sound, it's your brand, and whatever you put out there, you know, is gonna make an impact on your listeners. And they're gonna either choose to continue to consume your kind of robo content or not. So it really has to sound good. It cannot sound robo generated. And just know, I do have an AI rant coming up when I release that video. Because yes, this technology makes it possible, it's very exciting, it's very now, and it can provide some value. But this doesn't mean that you should use this 24 seven on your station. And if you're a new broadcaster, and if you haven't really had a lot of time on the mic, I'd say, what the heck are you thinking? If you truly wanna improve your skills as a radio DJ, well, how is typing words into the mouth of a robot gonna help you improve your on mic skills? Well, I think you can figure out that answer and if you can't, well, I'm sure a bot could help you out with that. So no, 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 if you're serious about this and you truly wanna improve, just for your own sake, I'm not saying great fortunes await for radio DJs. I mean, it's never been the case and it's far less the chance today. But anyway, you need to work this out on your own. You need to cut your teeth. You need to work through the growing pains like we all did in the old days. 
But I'm not saying you should not tap into this tech because if you do have a station that's running 24 seven and you, let's say you want an overnight jock, then this is great to plug in. Let's say that you have just certain features that you wanna generate dynamic content where this process will look at your live playlist, look at the next seven songs coming up, and then on the fly be able to generate content that is related to what you're playing. To me, that's the best use case for this, and I'm gonna roll out some cool ideas. But should it you know, replace every quote unquote live jock that you may have? Of course not. This is just to supplement what you already have. And I'd say, I mean, if you're looking for percentages, which I'm making all this up right now, don't hold me to any of this nonsense, but I mean, maybe it's 70% human and 30% you know, AI. But all I have to offer is hot air. What you do with it is up to you. Either it floats your balloon or it pushes it off course. So only you could figure out what's right for your goals. So this human in the loop concept is really important and it gives you oversight over the bot's work. So at each stage in the creative process, you're gonna receive an email. Okay, the script is done. You have a chance to approve it and it sends it on to 11 labs to generate the voiceover, or you can say, no, 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 it needs to be edited. And then you make your tweaks, send that back to the bots, and then it will generate a voiceover based on your new edited script. Okay, then the voiceover is created. Well, you get another email to either approve it, decline it, and have it rerun. Or if you need to edit the script again, boom, that's all a possibility. And now you're ensuring the highest quality content will hit your airwaves. By not including a human in the loop, well, you're at the mercy of those bots. So I think this was a key addition. Once again, at this point, that's only possible in the N8N environment. Originally, I was thinking this is, you know, an AI workflow that you could plug in to maybe tease upcoming artists in your playlist. And then for something a little more in depth, you could do this feature that actually gives, you know, some fun behind the music type uh, history about a song that you just played. So all that would be real time and it would be dynamically generated, which I thought was really cool. But for so much of this, you're really only limited by what you can, you know, creatively conceive. So there's so many opportunities for this. And when I release that deep dive video, oh yeah, we're gonna go deeper into each of these. So there you go, I've shown you all my cards. I've laid it out, that's where we're at. I'm really excited where we're going. And I can't wait, of course, to unveil the master AI voice tracking solution that it's coming soon. But I really wanted to have this chat with you just to let you know, you know, some of the great cool feature enhancements, where we're at and maybe where we should be going. So this is a time for you to really kind of digest everything you've heard so far and let me know in the comments, what am I missing? What kind of features would you like this to include? Come on, let's start the conversation. That'll only make this better. And for full transparency, I need to let you know that yes, I am gonna to try to do as deep of a dive video as possible. I mean, just you know, having spent time with this pro process for the past couple weeks, it's too much for one video. And it would kind of pay short shrift to a lot of other you know, folks who use different platforms and radio DJ. So for the true nitty gritty, I am going to be creating a course and it's gonna have really easy to digest, you know, simple to follow modules. And it's really gonna set you up for immediate success. And yes, there will be custom modules for each software that this is compatible with. So I really think it's the best way to do this. And I mean, come on, a lot of time has gone into this. So stay tuned for that. Jump into my newsletter right now. Sign up if you haven't already signed up because I will be offering a discount to anyone on the newsletter. So find that link in the description. I can't wait to share more with you, but most important, I just wanna start this dialogue and let me know uh, what your thoughts are and how we can even make this better. So until our next little radio rendezvous, you keep rocking those mics all over the world. <laughs>